All right, we're about to leave here. That hole in the wall. Hoping to make it far today. Let's see how far we go. is that it started to rain. It's kind of like one of those really wet, damp, moist days. You know, your hand is feeling like like pure moisture. I don't know, it's just a little bit, a little bit damp out here. Not the worst, it's not like an aggressive wind or anything like that, but damp out here nonetheless. Someone left a comment on a video uh, back when we were in uh, North Carolina and they said, cold, wet, and damp has been your entire trip. And that's why I'm saying this right now. I know, you know, it's one thing if it comes through every now and then, but I feel like it's been this way a lot. This is why I've been saying I've been looking forward to more of a relaxed cruising experience once we cross the Gulf Stream. Of course, there's, you know, every now and then you have to do a 45 or so, 50 nautical mile jump just because they're the circumstances such as like a Luthra to Abacos or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to, you know, exploring, being situated. Southbound sailboat hailing from Halifax. This is a motor vessel approaching on your fourth quarter. You know, just enjoying ourselves. This is JJT, over. Making, making yes, some uh, requesting a pass. The death. We're dropping anchor. She knows it. You wanna go help him? Go. Are you happy? Are you always happy when we drop the anchor? She really does this like excitement mode. It's like when you get home from work and your dog's all happy. That's what this is. Huh. You love it. You love it when it's over. Huh. So we're checking out the depth. Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? Kind of like a gunshot or something. It's the chain, I think. The chain can sometimes sound like a gunshot. <laughs> Jensen Beach, just getting up today. Seems calm, which is the opposite. I should have been filming last night, but I was really just frustrated and trying to catch some sleep. But it was very difficult to do so because if you see this area protected from this direction, and it doesn't even look the most protected, still kind of exposed. But then you look over here, kind of more open. And this is where you see all this weather. You check the wind yesterday and it says, uh, you know, 10 knots, maybe from that direction, maybe less. But there was a lingering thunderstorm just right there all night, just on the outskirts of this area, lingering. And it was blowing like 25 knots. There were, there was extreme chop. So it was a crazy up and down bobbin of a night. And uh, it wasn't until like 3 a.m. when it just finally just died down. But yeah, we're getting going now. We're going for Peck Lake. We're meeting up with friends. Let's get the day going.
We are here in Peck Lake. Feeling good. It's finally hot out. I know this is the first day we're in like shorts and stuff, so we're still pretty pale. Been bundled up. We've been marshmallowing it up. Let's go explore Peck Lake, cause we are here in Florida, where it's warm. We did it, everyone! Woo! <laughs> running around on the beach not really looking at Lola because she's running around as you saw and she got injured and she doesn't want to put any pressure on her paw and she's kind of really upset right now and every single time we go to inspect it she kind of bites us which is not usual for Lola yeah so we're having a little bit of a pet emergency crew emergency going on here and we are going to be going, taking our dinghy to the dinghy dock and taking her to the emergency vet hospital. Seems to be doing a little bit better. She's is putting a lip. I can feel a little bit of pressure. Yeah, now that she's here, she's like, I'm right. fine, I'm but fine. She is hesitant with it and she's been shaking like the whole car right here. I she don't think it got any better. That or it makes just nothing like the actual like the knee or yeah. the hip or you know, something like that. Um, I know, yeah. I was they told us Lola probably got stung by a jellyfish or something on the beach. They're not exactly sure what, but they couldn't find anything in her paw. So they're going to send us away with some pain medication and some Benadryl just in case there is an allergic reaction. And hopefully she should be okay. She was putting weight on it and walking around the room here. So I don't know if like the adrenaline got flowing when she was in here and she was no longer living. Lola, what did you step on? What happened? What is on that beach that you stepped on? Success. They gave us, uh, did, did I hear yourself? Yeah, Benadryl and, yeah. Benadryl and she got a steroid. And a steroid for the pain. But she seems to be doing much better. She's happy to be out of there. We're going to have to be extra careful in the Bahamas. I know. Leash her at all times. Yeah, seriously. Only it's just leash. not worth it. Imagine being out there in the Exumas or something where there's literally nothing around. Like, it would take days to get to see a vet or anything. So. Yeah, it could take a hold. 24 Alicia hours to get to somewhere. Alicia dogs on the beach. We're getting picked up by some friends of ours that you may know. We're gonna go go out to dinner, right? And then, yeah, we're starving. And then we're gonna get uh, groceries, maybe. See you tomorrow. Do it all.